Well, hi, how are you? God bless you. I hope that you're doing well. Today we are going to be doing a DIY advent calendar. If you want to see this, stay tuned. Hi, how are you? God bless you. I thank you so much for being here at Shine for Within the Journey. If you haven't seen my channel lately, you haven't clicked on some videos, I strive to inspire, motivate, and definitely encourage uh, those that are in the infertility journey, but definitely into transitioning into motherhood. But most importantly, I want to uh, encourage uh, new parents or parents in general to uh, raise children that um, in the faith raise them to know and to love Christ and to most importantly have a relationship with Christ. I think this is very important for us uh, parents um, that, you know, as we are raising them, uh, is for us to raise them and to give them back to God. You know, he gave them these beautiful, he gave us these beautiful gifts, these beautiful children that we longed for and we waited so long in our infertility journey but now it's our job to give them back to him because ultimately their souls uh we are responsible for them so one of the most important thing is to definitely teach them and definitely um teach them to actually have a relationship with christ that's the most important thing um, but anyway we are currently in christmas and I decided to do an advent calendar. I've become very fond of advent calendars and I haven't been able to do any. Um, actually, I wanted to do one last year, but it just pressed on time and I didn't get a chance to. Um, but anyway, I wanted to go along and tell you how to do it and how we you know all the materials on the next clip. So yes, we are going to start our DIY advent calendar. And actually, these are just the materials that you just need. Uh, first and foremost, you need a pocket chart. Um, this one was bought at the dollar store. I bought it at the dollar store last year, and they're still this year. They're still available. And I believe there were seven, um, the ones that have the seven lines. Um, there's some that have four lines, but I think the seven one, it's, it's, it's better. And I will show you why in just one second. So this I bought last year, and it's just closed pins, and it's twine. That basically you put on the wall. Um, uh, it's basically just to hang anything on the wall. So, but I'm not going to use it for that. I'm going to tell you what I will use that for in just one second. So you need, if you don't have these, all you need is just clothes pins that you get from the dollar store. Just clothes pins. And if you want to decorate them with anything, really, um, just glue really anything on them. Um, and I have some ribbon only because I see that in the middle it's going to be kind of plain. And I wanted to just give it and give it some Christmas pop kind of um, uh, decorations. So yes, you need scissors and you need a hot glue gun, uh, which is already on, I have to remove that. But anyway, um, the thing that really made this advent calendar comes from Fairy, no, it comes from Happy Home Fairy and it's Viral Burst Advent Calendar. I have to give credit with a care, with a credit is due um this i did not make it i would uh, hopefully post her link down below whoever is the owner of this uh, website is called happy home fairies and it's actually perfect for the size i actually cut some i think it's all the way to 24 uh let me see yes 24 days so every day you would read a bible verse um so for example it would be december 24 and we will find it you know the bible verse here and the actual quote from the bible so it's just really perfect so i actually cut one of these and you would just laminate them and they fit perfectly in the pocket i mean how beautiful is that so yeah this is where i'm going to be doing just cutting and I'll bring you along with me on this little advent calendar. So if you really think about it, this cost me one, two, because this is from the dollar store, three, maybe paper and, and ink, I don't know, maybe a dollar or so, four, and I already had this and this. So literally, you could have this for like four or five bucks. 
um, pretty cheap and expensive. So let me work along and I'll bring you along with me. So far, what I've done, I have cut all of the uh, pieces, all the dates, and I have lined up uh, four in each row. I think four in each row looks pretty well, pretty good. There's there's not a, like a little pocket here, so there's nothing. This is where I'm going to put the ribbon uh, to give it more little Christmassy, um, you know, decor. But I think that uh, it looks good. Um, I put four days across and one, two, three, four, five, six um, down. And it equals exactly 24 days. So far, that's what I have. I decided to remove the back of the little pocket thing. These were in the back. I thought they were a little bit too distracting. And I think it looks very much better. Much better. Not very much better, but like much better. That's So what do you think so far? I decided to keep her sign or the owner of the, of the website. Uh, it says Christmas Advent Calendar Scripture Cards, which is perfect. I love that her cards or his card, whoever's the owner of the website, remember that I got it from Happy Home Fairy Bible Verse Advent Calendar. Um, I love that the cards itself, it's so beautiful. They're decorated with ornaments. I think it just gives it an extra touch and you don't have to put too much. Um, so that's basically what I got so far. Like it's basically almost done, you know, but, um, I have a few more touches that will give this advent calendar just exactly what it needs. So right now I'm going to glue maybe two strips, maybe not. We'll see what, how I go about with this. And then I will show you what makes this advent calendar an advent calendar. So I just I glued the ribbons, uh, the top and at the bottom to give it a little bit more pop of color. And this is Advent Calendar is almost done. Almost done. I just have to cut all of these little, um, these little clothespins out of this twine. And I will show you how this Advent Calendar would work here at the Marrero's home. And in your home too. So I have cut the, I have separated the twine from the actual Christmas tree clips and this, I, I put them in a basket. So basically we would hang them, we would hang our advent calendar and as the day goes, since today is December 2nd, um, we would, you know, follow the date, read the quote and you know definitely find in your bible that bible verse and read it but you know it's there but it's good to go into your the the actual bible and these clips would indicate uh, this coming out so i have to glue it um this clip would indicate that we've done that day let me put the like that see this is why this little um, plastic thingy is very important because this would indicate that we've done it. So we would basically put like that all the way down to December 24th. So every day we would read it and we would have the little clip there. I mean, this is so beautiful, so inexpensive, and definitely it, it brings what, you know, the true Christmas is all about, which is Christ. You know, it definitely gives out, um, it does its job. That's what I'm trying to say. It does its job, and it's beautiful, and it already has these little holes that you can just, you know, put it somewhere. But I will definitely show you how I... Um, basically, you can just put it anywhere, really. Um, just put it on the wall, and you're all set. And just have your little basket right there with you. Um, and that's it. So, yes, this is an inexpensive, easy, and literally took me maybe just 
15 minutes to create. Just cut glue stuff and, you know, cut these pins and that's it. So these pins, uh, I got them at the dollar store and they were exactly 24. It's so amazing how certain things that you just don't know that you have can definitely just, you know, help you in what you want. You know, also, sometimes all we have to do is just shop around our home and see what we got already. And all I really needed was just uh, the cards. And I got them online for free. You know, so it's definitely beautiful. And it does its job. So let me know what you think about this. Let me know if this is something that you would like to incorporate into your Christmas. If you have never done an advent calendar. Actually, this is my first time. I've never done an advent calendar ever. I never grew up making one or doing one in our home and this is something that i really want to raise my children uh to do and there's different kinds of advent calendars but this is one that at least i have um i have other i have something else i have some other ideas and my husband did buy like a chocolate um he bought a chocolate um advent calendar uh, from the store that I will make another video and show you that one but um, this is the one that I actually made and I really love it I think it's beautiful it's festive and it does its job so yes if you like to see more videos regarding uh, family faith and raising our children in the faith I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video thank you so much and God bless you for more videos on how to raise up our children in faith, click the notification bells so you will not miss a beat. I'll see you in the next video. God bless you. Bye-bye.